Let's talk about how to become more self-aware and why it's important for weight loss. Now, self-awareness is kind of a tricky thing to talk about because most likely, if you're not very self-aware, then you don't even know it's a problem that you have. It's kind of like this paradox. But when you become self-aware, it's a lot easier to make progress on your weight loss journey. And if you stay unaware, you're likely to stay stuck either by not getting any weight off in the first place or by getting down to your goal weight and then just regaining it all back again. So you may be wondering like, well, what is self-awareness? Like, what does that mean? How do you do it? And so the way that helps me is to kind of think about my life as a movie. And the way I think about it is when I was not very self-aware, it was kind of like I was in this first person uh, camera view, you know, I'm just like moving through my day and I'm just focused on the things in front of me. But when I became more self-aware, it was kind of like the camera zoomed out. And instead of being the first person view, it was like I was the third person view. And I could see myself in my own life. And I watched myself from like up above and, and watched how I moved through my day and, and what actions I actually took. You know, it's funny, like if you've ever been in a movie theater and, and you're watching a horror movie or something, it's so easy to see the mistakes the character's making. You know, it's like, don't go in there. There's a bunch of axes, you know, hanging in that barn. Uh, but in our own lives, it's like we do a lot of those same types of things, these obvious things that an outsider could say, hey, that's your problem right there. But we don't even know because we're just unaware. It's like we're, we're just not paying attention. So now let's talk about how to become more self-aware. Um, when I look back on my own weight loss journey, there were definite points at which I just kind of like had these moments of, of self-awareness, like, oh wow, you know, that's a big problem that I have and I didn't even realize I was doing that. Of course, the big moment of self-awareness came for me in 2014, that day that I got tagged in those Facebook photos. It was a moment where I just had this realization like, wow, I've really let my weight get out of control to a point where I didn't even recognize myself in these photos. And to me, that's, that's still a very interesting kind of phenomenon because, you know, I see myself every day in the mirror. So uh, it's, it's the same thing with anything with self-awareness. Sometimes you can be going through life and, and you think you're aware of things, but really you're not. It, it's like it almost takes someone else holding up a mirror for you uh, sometimes before you can really get a clue. So. You know, sometimes it is a physical thing that can help you to become more self-aware. Like a camera can make you self-aware of what your body actually looks like. Along through that year of 2014, I tried to lose weight. I was doing things, you know, I would like kind of, I would run for a while and then I'd get out of the habit of that. And I was just, you know, I wasn't doing anything really consistent, but I, was, I felt like I was trying. And I got myself a Fitbit uh, for Christmas that year. And I strapped that thing on and I thought, okay, this is going to prove to me that I am moving all the time. Like my problem isn't that I'm not moving enough because, you know, at that time I had uh, three small kids and I felt like they run me ragged. Like I'm, I'm always on the move with these guys. And so I put my Fitbit on and I wore it for several days and I then had proof for myself that I was sedentary. I did. I was just floored that uh, when I would get to the end of the day, there would only be like a few thousand steps, like 3000 or less. Uh, and I was just shocked. I just thought, you know, like I thought I'm moving all day. I thought, you know, like that whole 10,000 steps a day thing. I thought I'll blow through that. No problem. Like without even trying to go for a walk. So that was a moment where I just became more self-aware, like, oh, wow, I'm sedentary. So I should probably change that. But sometimes it's not quite so easy and straightforward. Uh, sometimes it takes more effort to become more self-aware. Um, fast forward a few months uh, into 2015 and I uh, started to count calories. Now, I don't like counting calories and for a long-term strategy, I, I don't like it. I, it. It drove me nuts and, I, and it caused more stress uh, than it helped me. But one thing that counting calories did teach me was that I was eating too many calories. You know, I, I had this thing in my brain, like I 
move just as much as anybody else, and I eat the same amount as everybody else. So it's not fair that I'm overweight and everybody else is just at a normal weight. So what counting calories did for me was to make me aware of just how many calories I was eating just on a day-to-day -day basis and how easy it was uh, for me to consume those calories. So a few months passed and by the end of 2015, I was in a place where I was ready to quit on the weight loss journey. I was really frustrated. I had been going to the gym consistently that year. I've been working out really hard and I felt like I've done everything right. I, I'm doing everything right and I'm still not losing weight. So, you know, I kind of thought maybe I should just make peace with the fact that I'm just always going to be above the 200 mark. I just, you know, like I'm just not built that way. I'm just always going to be overweight. And in that moment though, I didn't quit. I sat down instead because I think because of the self-awareness that had been building, you know, the, these little things that I had been learning along the way. Uh, and I sat down with this spreadsheet that I had made. Um, it, I actually came up with it uh, when I had my, I've had enough moment with those Facebook photos. And, and every week I would just sit down and I would make a few notes about like what I was doing. I, I would measure myself. So I wrote down all my measurements and, and uh, eventually, you know, I started putting in my weights in 2015, I started weighing. So I was putting in those. And when I looked back over that year, I became aware of something. And that was, I was so inconsistent. I was quitting all the time on my plans. Like I, I would say, well, I'm going to do this and I would try it for like a week and then I'd quit and I would say that doesn't work. So I'm going to try this other thing. And when I became aware of that, that was a really big turning point for me because at that point I realized the problem wasn't with the plan. The problem was with me. It was with my consistency. And when I got that under control, that's when the magic really started to happen for me with weight loss. And that's the really big advantage of becoming more self-aware is when you can just recognize the problem, just become aware of the problem, then you can start about the business of working on that problem and solving it for yourself. There were many other things that I became self-aware of along the way. Uh, like for example, just realizing like, wow, I stress eat a lot. You know, I would, I would be in front of the pantry after like a budget meeting or something. And I would, because I kind of had started to observe myself, I would say, whoa, you know, what are you doing right now? Like, why are you at the pantry? It's not time to eat right now. Uh, what's going on? And I started to learn more about myself. And I started to recognize my negative self-talk. I also realized, you know, just that I eat really fast and that that was a habit that I needed to change. And so what I found is that this work on self-awareness is so helpful uh, because not only did it help me to lose weight, but it certainly helped me in in this maintenance phase, which is for the rest of my life. You know, I'm never gonna be done with this weight loss journey. It's always just gonna be a part of my life. And learning how to be self-aware uh, has been so tremendously helpful. It helped me to break those habits because normally what happened, my, my normal pattern was as soon as I got the weight off, I gained it all right back. And instead, I've been able to keep it off this time for years now, simply because I became self-aware. I was able to look back and say like, oh, this is what I normally do. Why do I do that? Oh, let's change that. So I hope that this video helps you to get on that path to self-awareness. I want to tell you, it is not an overnight thing. It's not like that you just say, well, I want to become self-aware and then pop, you're, you're done with it. That's not how it works at all. It is years in the making. I mean, like at this point, I've been working on this for six years and I feel like I've made a lot of progress, but I know for sure I have a long way to go. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.